So later on in the video, I'm gonna be going over the benefits of a DIY tower garden setup. So just wanna let you know off the bat, I included a free PDF guide to building your own tower garden in the description box below. But let's say you're here because you're in the market for a tower garden and you're seeing them range from 200 to $1,500 and you just wanna know why are tower gardens so expensive? Really, there are two main reasons. There's a simple explanation and a much more complicated reason. So simply put, tower gardens are expensive because they can be. It comes down to supply and demand and it comes down to opportunity cost for the consumer. First, let's talk about supply and demand. Manufacturers know that there's a huge demand for tower gardens right now. And until the demand comes down, they're gonna keep charging a lot of money for tower gardens and people will keep buying them. And frankly, if you use that tower garden to grow 20 plants all year round, it's still a great deal and it's still gonna pay for itself in just a few years. I'm not saying go out and buy the most expensive $1,500, $2,000 tower garden that you can find, but what I wanna do in this video is give you guys the information that you're gonna to need to go out and make the educated decision yourself. The other big reason, simply put, is the opportunity cost for the consumer. Let's flip the script to kinda of help you understand this. Let's say you want to do a soil garden in your backyard, and we'll say for the sake of the argument that you live in uh, somewhere urban or a subdivision. So you're gonna have to do raised beds. Now, if you're gonna grow 20 full-size plants like you would be in the tower garden, you're gonna need multiple medium-sized raised beds, depending on what you're trying to grow. And I can tell you from experience that buying raised beds is going to be more expensive than buying a nice tower garden. Not to mention, if you're not making your own soil from compost and instead you're just amending dirt with fertilizer, that's also going to be astronomically expensive. Always way cheaper to have a composting situation, but we're talking about someone who likely lives in an urban area, maybe even can't grow outside at all. And this isn't even getting into the water usage. You're going to be watering that garden every single day to make sure that those plants grow. With tower gardens, you don't have to water it. They're virtually maintenance free and they use 90% less water. It's all of these reasons in combination that the manufacturers are very aware of the opportunity it cost for the consumer, what it's worth to you. They're not necessarily charging these high prices because they cost that much to make, they're just charging these high prices because they know that you'll pay for it because it's worth it. So there's the simple answer. Opportunity cost and supply and demand. Those are gonna be two main reasons that even the cheaply made Chinese tower gardens are still gonna be more expensive than they really should be but there's a lot more to it than that. So let's go into some fine detail. What's really the difference between this tower garden and this tower garden? Let's break it down piece by piece so we can understand why this one is so cheap and why this one is so expensive, relatively speaking. All tower gardens are gonna use the exact same principles. They're gonna have a nutrient reservoir, they're gonna lift the nutrient rich water to the top and then figure out a way to distribute that water evenly to all of the roots as the water heads back down to the reservoir similar to how a fountain works. And that's why most of these are just gonna use fountain pumps. But let's go back to the reservoir. I'm gonna use the Juice Plus Tower Garden as my example because I've actually used this garden and I've had many successful harvests in this tower garden, so I feel safe talking about it. The Juice Plus Tower Garden's reservoir holds 20 gallons of water. Now, the larger the reservoir, that means the less that you're gonna to have to change out your water. This becomes extremely important when the plants get much bigger and they're much thirstier. So while this Juice Plus one holds 20 gallons of water, this cheaper Amazon Tower Garden only holds five gallons of water, which would lead me to assume that this Tower Garden is designed mostly for small greens like lettuce or herbs. And if you tried growing everything in one of these, you'd run out of water and space really quickly. What I mean when I say space is that there's enough room inside of the garden for the roots to grow and thrive and take advantage of the aeroponic side of tower gardens. The way that they deliver water is through drip hydroponics, but the reason that tower gardens are so successful is because they also utilize aeroponics in the way that they suspend the roots in air and deliver water in smaller amounts. However, if your garden is just completely packed with a sponge of roots, you're never really gonna be utilizing the aeroponics side of the tower garden because the roots are always gonna be soaking wet. It's a little bit of a running joke within the hydroponic community and sometimes we even refer to setups like that as soak ponics because everything's always wet and you never really see the amazing growth that you're gonna get from an aeroponic setup. So having enough volume inside of the tubes itself for the roots to thrive is crucially important too. The root volume in these higher end, like the Juice Plus Tower Gardens, is quite immense. And that not only affects the grow rate, it affects the quality of the grow and the amount of produce that you're gonna get from the plant. 
So if you browse on Amazon, you're gonna see a lot of cheap Chinese made, small reservoir, small root volume novelty gardens. There's really no other word for it. I mean, if you're just trying to get some greens in your house, you just wanna grow herbs and maybe some lettuce, then these might just be perfect for you. But if you're like me, a plant-based produce junkie, and you wanna be more self-sustainable and grow as much produce as you possibly can, which is really the people I'm hoping are watching this right now. I could never recommend one of these cheap Amazon Chinese made tower gardens to you in good conscience. I mean, as soon as you plant your cucumbers, your eggplant, your squash, watermelons, beans, cauliflower, peppers, all the stuff that you really eat, these gardens would be incredibly disappointing to you. So we're talking about China quality stuff here. We're talking about the lower end of what you're gonna be looking at as far as tower gardens. So what about build quality? Does the quality of the way that it's put together have any effect on how the plants are gonna turn out? Yes, yes it does. A leaky garden will kill your plants through nutrient burn, and then it'll leave behind concentrated nutrient salts that burn anything they touch, even you. So be careful. Make sure whatever garden you get is completely sealed and uses high quality parts to seal it together. Because the garden does have to come apart for cleaning, you have to put it back together somehow and you want to make sure when you put it back together things aren't going to break. But what I find to be more important as a gardener is what the garden's actually made out of. I mean, what is in the plastics? So most of the higher end tower gardens and the Juice Plus tower garden are going to be made with food grade plastics. This means that they contain no BPA or bisphenol A. Bisphenol A is a chemical that's produced in large quantities and is added to polycarbonate plastics. The big problem with BPA is that it leaches. It only holds on to the fossil fuels that make up plastics for so long and then it starts to leach into whatever is touching it therefore contaminating it. I really try to make sure to avoid all BPA in any plastic products that I buy uh, in relation to food or consumption in general. So why the hell would anyone buy a tower garden that has bisphenol A in it? I'm, I'm asking you guys now. Because what that means is the roots are actually soaking up the water and the nutrients and the water contains BPAs. Therefore the plant is gonna have BPAs built into it. When you eat that plant, then they're gonna go directly into you. I wanna be made out of organic stuff, not plastic. So do make sure, you can usually check on Amazon for this in the Q&A, but do make sure that your tower garden is made with food grade plastic. You have to get something pretty cheap from China or make your own and not know what you need to do it. If you're building your own, you can buy something called UPVC, which is food grade PVC to make your garden out of. Another really big thing to consider when talking about build quality is the water delivery method. Now this is where the Juice Plus Tower Garden's hard to beat. They have patents on their water delivery system and you're paying for that patent in the total price of the unit. But what they do is they have plates on every level with hundreds of holes in them. They lift the water to the top and then it rains down evenly on all of the roots. Now you'll see a lot of other systems have tried to implement clever ways of delivering water to the roots and the best way to find out if that was successful or not is usually by reading reviews. Reviews can be very telling, um, especially from long-term customers who report, you know, how their garden has worked over months or even a year. A lot of times with these cheaper gardens, people who use them for a long time aren't leaving very good reviews. And I encourage you to go check out those reviews to get even more information about what could potentially go wrong. On this $500 tower garden, for example, sure it uses, it uses food grade plastic, which is great, but the pump is just a very standard fountain pump. You can actually buy this pump for about $12 on Amazon or even at a pet store, which might be nice for if you have to replace it. But the thing is in a tower garden, if your pump goes out and you're not there to replace it immediately or realize that it went out, your produce will die. I've had plants die overnight from a pump failure. So making sure that your water delivery method is tried and tested, is secure, is going to last a long time, is really key if you're trying to do this seriously. So I understand at this point you might be feeling a little discouraged by what I'm telling you. If you're watching this video because you don't wanna get ripped off or you just can't afford a really expensive tower garden, there's still one really great option for you. Build it yourself. This is how I do all of my tower gardens now. And like I said, I put together a guide with my favorite tower garden builds so that if you'd like, you can build it yourself. I really don't think that there are many skills required in doing this. I try to really lay it out very plain and simply for you so that you could just get the parts you need, put it together and have a tower garden for around 200 bucks. It's gonna perform far better than the cheap ones you're gonna find on Amazon. Not quite as good as the commercial ones, but we're talking about saving up to $1,000 here. 
I've actually built several tower gardens for different types of plants. Uh, you can get different diameter UPVC for different plants you're growing. Like I have a strawberry tower garden that I'm working on right now and it has just nine pucks and just a four inch piece of pipe because I don't need that much room for the roots. I'm building a bigger tower garden for, uh, for all of my larger stuff, like my carciferous greens and my cucumbers. And that one's gonna have a six inch diameter pipe to allow much more root volume. So customizing your tower garden to what you're trying to grow is another really cool thing about doing it yourself. I may be speaking a little too confidently about how easy it is to build this, but I implore you to ask questions. Please comment below if you do have any questions about anything that I went over today. And I really, really hope this video helped you guys. So. Let's grow together.